I have been following the AI space now for a little over a year personally, and I've been making videos on it for about six months or so, and I think we can all say that the AI space has been moving in a rapid direction upwards as of late. And we've covered so many different AI topics on this channel, but nothing quite like this. Even I was shocked to see the announcement of Imogen's video yesterday afternoon. Google seems to have this thing in their AI department where they like to one-up other companies. Last week, we saw the release of Meta's own Make a Video AI, which was extremely impressive and I covered on this channel, and a lot of people really liked that video, so I hope you guys like this video too. But, you know, we see a bunch of different examples of really fantastic video generation results and a decently high resolution and frame rate with high coherency as well. It looks pretty decent to say it nonetheless. But Google came in here uh, yesterday and just wiped the floor with every attempt at text-to-video thus far in the AI space. So Google's AI subdivision released this paper and this website, which I will have linked down below. We are getting high-resolution 720p video here, 24 frames per second, fully AI-generated video, just straight up from text. So this is text-to-video, very similar to Meta's make a video. As you can see on this little website demo, if we hover over any of these very impressive clips, we get a little text box that shows you what the prompt was. So, for example, this one was a cat on the left of a dog. So, obviously, with this one right up in this corner, you know, the whole idea was to show that the AI can understand that the cat is supposed to be towards the left and the dog is supposed to be towards the right. And yes, it was able to handle that. The cat's face looks a little bit mushed, so does the dog's. Their bodies are kind of morphing, but still, this is really impressive for such early technology. If you think back, I mean, earlier this year, Dolly 2 was like the most incredible thing ever, and now we're getting to this point, and it's still not even 2023 as of recording this video. So, you know, obviously it's struggling to reproduce those faces, though, but it was able to understand the context well. We've also got a teddy bear running in New York City, so this one came out pretty realistic. It definitely looks like the teddy bear is running. His body is moving a little bit strangely, but otherwise it's pretty consistent. Definitely better than what we were seeing with Meta's new technology. He definitely does look like he's going for a jog or a run, and he definitely looks like he's in New York City. We can see the cars also in the background of New York City are moving at, you know, about the speed I would expect them to move at. This one came out really well. This is a view of a castle with fantastically high towers reaching into the clouds in a hilly forest at dawn. So it pretty much captured every form of this prompt. We've got the clouds there. We've got the hill, the castle. Definitely the time is dawn and it's just sort of like a panning shot. So it's taking a little creative liberty there with it thinks how the shot should be constructed, which is really interesting to see and I think is going to be interesting moving forward with these technologies. This one is pretty interesting. This is a happy elephant wearing a birthday hat walking under the sea. It definitely looks like the elephant is walking. His legs keep morphing together in the front if you notice there, but he definitely looks like he's underwater. It has that weird underwater contrasty look that you get when you film underwater in real life. He's wearing a birthday hat, and he definitely looks like he's under the ocean. But very high quality nonetheless. We've got a wooden figurine surfing on a surfboard in space. This one's pretty consistent as well. We can see the space is moving consistently in the background of that one, and he's definitely surfing on what looks to be waves at least. But yeah, that's really cool imagery. Nonetheless, it can really show you how creative and wild you can begin to get with these new text-to-video models that are releasing. A small handcrafted wooden boat taking off to space. As you can see, he's sort of just a small wooden boat and it's flying around. We can see what looks to be the Earth right below it. This is really interesting to point out. This one right here we're looking at in the middle. Drone fly-through interior of Sagrada Familia Cathedral. I'm not familiar with this cathedral, so I can't speak to how accurate it is but you'll notice how smooth the shot looks. It knows what a drone shot is supposed to look like, and it's looking like it's very, very smooth moving through the cathedral. So it's it's really picking up on what that imagery is supposed to look like. It just looks like in the coherency department is where we've got a little bit more work to do. But other than that, it really is beginning to pick up on those particular cues that you would expect a video to AI 
to be able to pick off of from text. We've also got a teddy bear washing dishes, which is quite interesting. This one looks very good. The teddy bear is extremely consistent, and so is the background here. Much more consistent than we were seeing with Meta's version of AI. The ice cream melting here, this I would almost be convinced is an actual video recording of a melting ice cream cone. The cone is very fixed in place. It's not morphing a whole lot. The ice cream is melting pretty realistically. This coffee pouring one, I think is even better. I mean, that is literally almost just a straight up video of someone pouring coffee. So very incredible to see there. One other really impressive thing that pretty much only Google has been able to do with these new AI models is be able to spell. As you can see, they're showing off several examples where it's sort of painting or it's growing out of a book, just the text image and video, and it's spelled correctly and it looks darn good. So yeah, this is, this is incredible stuff. I also really like this slow motion glass bead following into the water. The water is reflecting realistically. We can see the sunset in the background. It is just absolutely incredible technology. I am so darn impressed with this, and I can't believe that we, with the AI technology, are already coming up to this. I mean, in two to three years' time, who knows where we could be with this different tech. So yeah, there's a bunch of different clips. If you refresh the page here, you'll see some other random clips. So there's definitely a lot to see with this one. So I suggest you guys go to the page yourself and, you know, refresh it if you want to see some more of these different clips. But all of them are really impressive. And this is unprecedented technology. We have never seen anything this good before. And it really says a lot about what the future holds for entertainment and people who want to be creative and create videos in general. If we scroll down here, we can see image in video, imagine, illustrate, inspire. So they're, you know, trying to come up with a tagline for this here. Again, who knows if this will ever get released to the public. Google never released Imogen or Party. They're two text-to-image models that can be compared to something like Dolly 2. So yeah, those models are really good, but we never saw the light of day with them. So who knows if we'll ever see image and video release to the public. So this is a text conditional video generation system based on a cascade of video diffusion models. Given a text prompt, image and video generates high definition videos using a base video generation model and a sequence of interleaved spatial and temporal video super resolution models. So who knows what that means? Well, they kind of explain it further down. This does seem to work pretty similar to their regular just image generation technology, Imogen or Party. So yeah, it does seem to be a pretty efficient model from what we can see so far. Not that there is really much out there to compare it to at the moment. It really is just Meta's make a video that we can compare it to right now, or maybe the old COG video, which I also covered on this channel before, which you can actually use, but you know, it is nowhere even close to this. So you can read the research paper right here if you would like. As you can see, it's about 720p, 1280 by 768 at 24 FPS, which is like cinema FPS. If you go watch a movie in the cinema, it is at 24 FPS. So the frame rate, I mean, we're there in terms of frame rate. It's just the video resolution. I mean, you know, 720p is a little bit low, but I'm sure this will increase and it is very impressive for being Google's first delve into text to video. To give you a little example of what cascaded diffusion models are, essentially we start out with our prompt here, sprouts in the shape of text imaging coming out of a fairy tale book. That was the prompt for this one. And then it generates a really low resolution, low frame rate generation here. So this is only 16 by 24 by 48 at three frames per second. And then it goes through TSR which then ups it to 32 by 24 by 48 at six frames per second. And you can see it scales from there. Then we go to SSR, slowly becomes more high resolution, goes back to TSR. This brings it up to 12 frames per second, back through TSR to bring it up to 24. And then finally one last SSR to bring it up to the full 720p resolution at 24 FPS. And it looks pretty darn good too. So what we're really seeing it go from here is, you know, a base video diffusion model generating a really low resolution crappy little video, but a good base to start off of temporal super resolution, which Google loves to use making it upscaled. Imogen Video is another step forward in generative modeling capabilities, advancing text to AI systems, 
such as we've seen all throughout this year really explode in popularity. You know, I've made so many videos on text to image or text to video or text to whatever. These generative models may also be misused, for example, to generate fake, hateful, explicit, or harmful content. This is always the concern with these new AI models that have been releasing lately. There are different safety and ethical challenges that are still remaining with this technology, Imogen says, so I'm sure they've have been testing the model and have seen it's capable of generating some pretty horrible things, I'm sure. And they mentioned, you know, social biases and stereotypes, and this is why the source code is not released. They have not decided to release image and video models. So yeah, this is the same deal with their party and the original image and text to image AIs, similar to Dolly 2 that they released before. They just have no plan to release them, which kind of makes them irrelevant to the general public in a certain way. Like, this is really cool technology to see. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, if we'll never be able to get access to it, then what is the point at the end of the day? It's still really cool to see, though, and it's cool to see how this technology is advancing. My prediction for the future is that we will see Dolly's company, which is OpenAI, release a similar model. Hopefully it's, you know, about as good as let's say, make a video, for example. I'm hoping it's it's about this good. I don't really expect it to be as good as what Google has shown off to us today, but I do expect OpenAI and possibly Meta as well to release their models to the public for us to try out at some point. I'm sure Google might follow suit, but who really knows? They haven't really shown any signs of releasing their AI models thus far, but I am sure we will get access to decent text-to-video at some point, I also believe, don't quote me on this, but Stability AI, the creators of Stable Diffusion, are also working on this technology as well, and you best bet they are going to release that one to the public. So yeah, the future is extremely exciting. Please let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comments below. It is just so exciting how crazy fast the AI field is evolving lately. This is just such a mind blow that we're even this close to something like this yet. I think sometime down the line in the future, you are going to be able to type what you want to see and it's just going to appear in very high quality, indistinguishable from real life. I think that's like 10, 10 years down the line and I think maybe 20 years down the line, you'll be able to watch movies that are fully AI generated. Be like, oh, I want to see this movie with these actors in it. You know, this is the, the setting or whatever and it will just fully generate a movie for you to view. I, th I think technology like that is going to come in the future, and I think, you know, we're going to see one day in the future a lot of just straight-up AI-generated content that you never even knew was AI-generated being presented to you, and you'll probably enjoy it as well because it is evolving at a crazy fast rate. I really want to get access to text to video sometime soon. I hope I can get access to something to test it out and make a video for you guys. Check out some of my other videos, check out the Discord channel where we have the latest and greatest news, that's how I found out about this by the way, I found out about it pretty much as it released, someone posted it right in the AI news section of the Discord, so if you want the latest of AI, check out my Discord server, but thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.